Now to a story that you will see only here on 12 News. Yes, a local teen's bicycle was stolen from her school's campus in the middle of the day, but now her mom's social media post about the theft is turning into an unbelievable outpouring of kindness in the Maricopa community. Take a look. Bells, baskets, and more than 70 bicycles now donated after Leatrice Smiley's daughter's was stolen. Uh, 70 bikes, five of the Razor scooters, and then we have three little, like, tricycle saw bikes over here. The locked bike stolen from Leading Edge Academy campus two weeks ago, prompting this Facebook post. Put it online so people could see what it looked like to keep an eye out for it. And I was like, you know, hey, if anybody's kid comes home with a bike that doesn't belong to them, please have them return it. Now, I was I was mad though, so I was like, if I see somebody on my kid's bike, I'm gonna Jackie Chan kick him off of it. <laughs> Leatrice driving around the neighborhood, hoping to spot the bike, thinking to herself, that post really created an incredible community response. A lot of people were like, you know, I'm so sorry that happened. You know, I'd love to donate a bike to her. Um, one gentleman inboxed me. He's like, I'll buy her a new bike. You can meet me at Walmart. And he goes, if you're uncomfortable meeting me, you can meet my wife up there, and she'll get her a bike and a lock. And I was like, wow, like, thank you. That kindness turning into an opportunity for her and her family to give back. All the generosity that people are aiming towards us, I would love to give that generosity back to other kids. From donations like locks, helmets, tire tubes, even chains, Leatrice is elated. Her and I have both reached out to pretty much every elementary and middle school here in Maricopa to have the principal or some type of admin kind of try to identify kids who walk home from school who don't have access to bikes. And she reiterated that she and her wife think that everything happens for a reason and all the bikes and items will be donated to kids right there in their community in need on October 9th. You can find more details on our website, 12news.com.